Lump sat alone in a boggy marsh, totally emotionless, except for her heart. Mud flowed up into Lump's pajamas. She totally confused all the passing piranhas. She's Lump, she's Lump, she's in my head. She's Lump, she's Lump, she's Lump, she might be dead. And that, my H cuties, is how to properly observe President Day. I hope you're well on this Monday, February the 18th, wrapping up the three-day weekend with a chance to win some cash by answering questions here on HQ. Love might be dead, and I might be too after tonight's show because we got a special one, a spicy one. We're turning up the heat. Thanks to my friends at First We Feast and the Hot Ones. Woo, we got spicy questions, spicy wings. You'll see what I mean in a moment. I am the Scott one. Your host with the ghost peppers, Scott Rogowski, live from nowhere in particular with Lucy and Mr. Jack, Abigail Jordan, Jamba Lamb in Ireland, Krista in Angola, Indiana, and Cliff Parent celebrating a birthday. Tonight I'm asking 12 questions. You must answer all to earn your keep, which tonight is five thousand dollar dollar bills, y'all. That should be enough for a glossectomy, aka the surgical removal of the tongue, which I might need after this show. Of course, you're, you're also earning points when you answer questions, yep. Those points help you level up and score free passes, which keep you in the game when you get a question wrong. Oh, look at those levels go. One, two, three, all the way up to 10. Where are you at right now? Are you at five, six, seven? Anybody at eight yet? Ugh. The season finale is coming up. And remember, those points are also adding to that season finale jackpot. Let's check in on that pot right now. What are we up to? 96,760, ouchie, wowie. The more you play, the more we pay here in HQ. Remember, free passes can be used in conjunction with extra lives. Do you have any of those left in your quiver? If not, you can pick one up Right now, extra lives can be used once per game, not on the final question. If you don't want to pay for one, play five days in a row and get one for free or refer your friends. Now, this is no ordinary game of HQ, okay? I'm also being put to the test tonight with the help of the Hot Ones host himself, Mr. Sean Evans. Sean, get in here! Hey! How you doing, What's pal? up, HQ? Look at this. What's Look up, this. HQties? The Hot Ones, the Scott Ones. It's a tight frame over it's here. A it's a tight frame. It's a tight frame. But this is exciting, Sean, because you were the first co-host I've had who wow. also has a Topps baseball card. Oh, I brought you one. Look at this, we're set buddies. I've got the cigar store insert. It's oh the boy. cigar box. And I autographed, autographed it. I autographed it for you, do, Scott. Do you want to trade? That would be... Really? The yes. autographed one for the... Not, all right, maybe I'll sign one, that one after the show. I'll treasure it How about it that? Is. Sean Evans, we both have cards, but we're not talking <laughs> cards tonight. We're talking wings. We're mm -hmm. trying to get spicy. What, what is happening tonight here, Sean? Well, Scott, every time you see the Savage graphic, that yeah. means that you're getting a wing, and we've brought... A lot of the bottles from Hot Ones, oh boy. they go from 1800 Scoville to well into the millions. So, millions? Good millions luck of Scoville? So, millions so, of Scoville. So let's see. So every time there's a Savage question, we have those. We had three last night. I mean, I don't know how, how many we'll have tonight. I um, hope a lot more got than three. More than three? You think so? <laughs> We've got wings over here. Let me, uh, let me try this out. Let's demo the first one. Sure. Because, look, I'm telling you right off the bat here, I'm not good with spice, okay? Marinara is too spicy for me. Well, this is a baby step. Okay. 1800 Scoville. All right. No problem for you whatsoever. Whew. I'm going to button up for this. 1800, the classic. Easy peasy. Okay. Easy peasy. Okay, yeah. I mean, again... It's, you know, it's a little little much for my palate already. So if that's 1800's tough, we're going to have we're gonna some issues tonight. Well, I'm bringing the wings, and feel free to tag me in if it gets All right, too I might have to tap. I might have to tap out and get Sean back here, but uh, it's up to you guys. If it gets savage tonight, we'll see. We have over 470,000 people in the game right now. Let's do it. Let's go with the show. Let's get down to the nitty-gritty. We got Kumaro. I'm already losing track of what my... That's, I'm already affected by the capsaicin and the, the sauce. We got Kimura numero uno, baby. The Asian delicacy known as bird's nest soup is made primarily from what? Bird's nest fried noodles or shredded cabbage? Oh, come on. This is our most savage question ever right out of the gate. I call foul, sir. I'm hosting the show under protest. Q1's supposed to be like, what color was George Washington's white horse? To get bird's nest soup, we've asked this before, you just boil real bird's nests. Look at that, 245,474 got it right, but 170,000 got it wrong? Is that? Oh no! They're giving it to me? 
It's the savage question. We got a savage question out the gate here. A hundred and... Yeah, that's pretty savage. We lost almost half. Let me get that in for you. Now, what is this? Oh, Angry God. Goat Pepper Company's Hippy Dippy Green. Hippy Dippy? 23,000 Scoville. I do prefer 2300 the 2300 Scoville. Yeah, so no problems, though. We're inching so up like, over here. Okay. Mm, that's actually sweeter. Yeah. Mmm. They hit you a little bit differently. I can get down with a Hippy Dippy. Okay. I do have a little milk here. Just to wash it down. That's not kosher. Q2. <laughs> Baseball games are usually divided into what? Downs, innings, or decades? Come on, there's no way this can be savage, all right? <laughs> you guys know baseball. Look, I got a baseball card. Sean's got a baseball card now. In baseball, you take a break every three outs, and when both teams have had a chance to bat, the inning is over, and it's on to the next, usually nine innings. Oh, thank goodness. 381,328 got that one right. Hashtag winning on inning. Before we step up to Q3, let me tell you about what's happening. Thursday night, kids, you want to get swifty? Quiz with me and get some money. Thursday night, 9 p.m., it's Rick and Morty. Trivia night, Pickle Scott. Find out why a Pop-Tart would want to live inside a toaster. Thursday, 9 p.m., Rick and Morty. But we got more spicy trivia for you right now. Q3. Ah. Which of these creatures is a crustacean, clam, lobster, or herring? You know, the majority of crustaceans begin life underwater and end life on your dinner plate. Clams are delicious, especially oregano, but they're bivalves, and herring is a plain old fish. But consider the lobster. The aquatic arthropod that we are looking for here, it is the answer, 338,485. We got the hot crustacean band down under the sea for Q4. Which of these comedians was a Saturday Night Live cast member during the first season? Eddie Murphy, Dan Aykroyd, or Adam Sandler? Live! From New York, it's Saturday Ampersand. No, it's not S and L. Saturday Night Live debuted in 75. Eddie Murphy joined in 80, bringing Mr. Robinson's Neighborhood, James Brown's Celebrity Hot Tub with him. Sandler entered first as a writer in 1990 and then a cast member, but Dan Aykroyd was part of the OG cast all the way back in 75. Who's blending with a bassomatic tonight? 265,311 of you are. We got 117,000 getting that one wrong. Moving on to Q5. Which of these is the name of one of Barbie's sisters? Summer, Skipper, or Midge? I'm so thankful most of you knew that one, and I hope most of you know this one. We're throwing shrimp on the Barbie at Q5. Since 1959, Mattel has constructed a broad Barbie-verse full of friends and extended family, including Midge, Barbie's bestie, and her younger sister, Skipper. Shout out Ray for Alston. Skip to my Lou on question five. 233,981 got that one right, but 135,000 did not, 140,000. Uh, you guys are Barbie girls living in a Barbie world at Q6. A velocipede is a type of what? Dinosaur, insect, or vehicle? Velocipede. Fast foot is the translation from Latin for this $10 word. That's kind of the neighborhood of its meaning. Although I've never seen feet on a bicycle or related human-powered land vehicle. Vehicle's your answer here. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle all the way into the Savage Garden. Yes, another Savage question. Savage time. Savage town. We coming. We're coming back with another wing here. Oh, no. What do we got here, Shawnee boy? Patio's potion. 8,800 on the Scoville scale. 88, so this is 7,000 more Scoville than the first? We're inching you up still. I think you have no problem. You're doing so uh, good, I'm Scott. doing okay. So I'm, good. I'm, I'm, doing I'm, so good. I'm surprising myself here. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. 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 All right. We're pedaling onwards. I'm on my Velocipede. Q7. What is something Meatloaf won't do in the album version of I Do Anything For Love But I Won't Do That? Move on, abandon your heart, or it's never stated. Ah, Meatloaf. Mm. Meatloaf will do a lot of things. He'll cater to every fantasy that you've got. He'll even hose you down with holy water if you get too hot, but he won't do that. Just what is that? Well, he elaborates later on in the song to include seeing that it's time to move on. He won't do that. And you see that it's time to move on. I won't do that. He won't do that, but I will have a little ice cream right now to mm, cool down the tongue at Q7. Oh no! We got 
back to back jacks. Another bit of savagery at Q7. 36,604 surviving that one. Bats out of hell. We're flying on to Q8, but before we do, I gotta, I gotta take another winger, don't it's I, It's Chiba Gold, it's Chiba Gold, 25,300 Scoville. Who names these things? <laughs> <laughs> this is like... It's going down. Chiba Gold, your wing dealer come up to this stuff? Right. Actually, mm. I'm about to get smacked, Scott. I'm about to get smacked? Yeah. Um, this is the one that like hits you later, right? I've watched the show, Sean. I know how some of these work. Oh, it starts out real innocent. Mmm. Oh, delicious. Kind of sweet, tangy, and then, then it really, then the fire, the engines start, you know, the alarms, the alarms start to go off. Ah! Q8. We only have a few more, folks. Please, no more savagery, please. I don't know how much more I could take of this. Q8. Which of these animals has fingerprints? Toad, lion, or koala? Does not, oh, has fingerprints. Oh, I'm starting, I'm starting to see things here. I'm seeing words that aren't there. Toad, lion, koala. I would not want to be the scientist who does the research for the lions on this one. If you were, you'd find there are no fingerprints on the lion. Same with a toad, but cozy up to a koala. And yes, they do have prints much like our own, but don't get too close to koalas. They're surprisingly violent. 46,818 surprisingly got this one right. No savagery here. You can't pull the graphic on me at Q8. Maybe Q9. Which of these states does not have a Springfield? Wisconsin, Connecticut, or Nebraska? Springfield, Springfield, it's a hell of a town. The schoolyard's up and the shopping mall's down. The stray dogs go to the animal pound. Springfield, Springfield. There's a Springfield in 31 states, plus whichever state the Simpsons are in, but nutmeg staters are lacking a spring in their step and field. No SF in CT. Oh, we got splitsies here just about. Are we gonna call? Are we going to call savagery a Q9? Oh, they are! They're doing it to me! It's savage time. You know you had to do it it's to them. It's savage time, and we're going with the garlic reaper sauce. It's garlic a steep reaper. ramp up. Over 115,000 Scoville. 100? Wait, 100. It's getting late in the game. It's getting late in the game. 100? Did you say we're in six figures here? We're cranking you. We're cranking you over here. A six-figure wing with a garlicky... Is this going to be hotter than Chief Wiggum's Guatemalan insanity pepper? Let's find out. It's pretty good. <sighs> mm. I kind of, it's like hitting the esophagus now because I just wanted to sort of swallow it. And that was a mistake. You don't want it to hit the esophagus first. <sighs> oh God. Forget it. I don't need the spoon. I'm just going to chug it. Yeah. That is vanilla yogurt. I did my research. There's more casein in the... <sighs> ah, let's just finish this. Let's just finish the quiz. Q10. Which of these words can refer to... <clears throat> now I got the hiccups. <clears throat> oh, God. I'm sorry. That was gross. Do we have a cough button? <laughs> a cough button? Oh, Q10. Which of these words can refer to either a fabric or a language? Lame, hemp, or chiffon? <clears throat> oh, God. Oh God, <sighs> lame is the answer. Just lame is the answer. Just let's, let's give it to you. Lame, 8,364. Got it right, let's go Q11. <sighs> Q11, come on. What NFL team can reach Canada from its home stadium by simply traveling south? Lions, Packers, or Bills? <sighs> Green Bay Packers. They're, 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 they're close, to, they're not close to Canada. <sighs> Lions are the answer, okay? Let's just go, let's just cut to the chase here. Lions, 3,640. Got that one, right? Okay. No savagery there. <laughs> Definitely not, but we have a final round, final round. It all boils down to this. You gotta win, you gotta answer this to win $5,000. Words is coming up next, remember? Five. It's good yogurt. $5,000. Question 12. 3,640 remaining. Huh. Q12. 
The oldest known recording of a U.S. president's voice is of whom? Grover Cleveland, William McKinley, or Benjamin Harrison? It's President's Day. We finally got a President's Day question at Q12. On or around 1889, an Edison wax cylinder picked up a short statement by the president about attending the recent Pan-American Congress. Who was president in 1889? It's all about the Benjamin, baby! Benjamin Harrison's your answer. 1702 are our winners. No more savage questions. We got it, we got it, we did it. Oh boy, Alberto. 1702 survived the savagery. I'm not sure I did. I got to four, level four, and I'm already having an allergic reaction. $2.94 going to all of you. Congratulations, Yobo Goya, CMH8, FL, FL, NY Saku, MaxR234, uh, MJ, I don't know. I'm not gonna read all your names. I'm just, I need more of this ice cream. That's what I need. Mm. Sweet relief. Mmm. Oh, oh God. All right, Sean, I did it. You I, were I, such a good sport, and you I, did I so good. I walked through the gauntlet. I survived four of the, of the 10 hot ones, but now I'm gonna flip it on you, Sean, before we head out. Uh-oh. I'm gonna give you the Scott ones right now. <laughs> you know, this is, the, the wings are your world, That's, the hot sauce is your world. These are some dishes from my world, the old world. Wow. We got gefilte fish, we got tongue, cow's tongue, have you ever had gefilte fish, Sean Evans? No, this will be my first time. Do you know what this is? It's a... Uh... This is processed carp that we serve during a Passover Seder, which is coming up in a couple months. Traditionally made from carp that was in the bathtub of Grandma, of Bubby. What do you think of that? A little gefilte? That's great processed carp right processed there. Processed carp. And how about some cow's tongue? Some of the best I've ever had. Don't hog, mm. all, the, oh, don't hog all the cow's tongue. A little tongue from my tongue right there. That's Cass's Deli's finest. Mmm. I'll, I'll leave this chopped liver and the pickled herring out of it. You, you, did, you did enough. Sean Evans survived the Scott ones. I survived My the man. hot ones. All My you man. guys played. Thanks for doing it. Stick around for Anna following words, following trivia. Anna, what am I saying? Words is coming up next. This is trivia. You know the drill. Thank you to Sean Evans and, and hot ones. Uh, until I see you again tomorrow at 9, HQ Trivia is back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Shaz is hosting that one. I'll be back at 9. I'll see you again soon. Signing off. With some more President's Day observations. Millions of peaches, peaches for free. Come on, Sean. Millions of peaches, peaches for me. And millions of cow's tongue. She's lump, mm. she's lump, she's lump. She's in my hair. Night, everybody. Happy.